Hey beautiful people, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here and today we're actually taking a look at a wearable energy drink. So this is, if I can just get that up there, Endorphix Surge Skin. Get that out of the way. So you get six little tabs in this, six skins, so it speaks, and you just gently peel and apply to, not your throat obviously, but an area without hair on your skin. Are these any good? Would they actually do anything? Or is this just a waste of $15? The things that it says it's going to include are caffeine, taurine, green tea extract, vitamin B3, B5, B6, B12, guarana, ginkgo bibola, and rodelia rosea extract. So you can have a quick look at all the ingredients in there. And so they're meant to be delivered through the skin via these little patches. So here are your little surge skins. So the idea is that on the underside of this is all of these ingredients in a form that you can absorb through your skin. Okay, so just out of the shower, here is our Endorphix surge skin, last six to eight hours, blah, 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 six tabs on it. So. Gently peel and apply to location that's free from hair or little to no hair. Keep it in a cool, dry place, blah, blah, blah. Dosage. Individuals up to 80 kilos use one. Individuals over 80 use two. This would mean I would have to use two. Now that gets you to, they're about $2.50 it works out for each little tab. That will work out about $5, which is about the price of an energy drink anyway. You can see all the stuff in there, so you've got 20 milligrams of caffeine, all your B vitamins, L-thionine, Rana extract, Ginkgo Babella. So it's the stuff that you'd normally find in an energy drink as well. But they're vegetarian friendly, gluten free, everything like that. So the question then is, are they actually any good or will they do what they say that they're going to do? Let's find out together. So you peel him off. Here's that patch applied. I'm gonna see how that goes. I have not had any coffee or anything actually this morning so far. So it should start working in about half an hour or so. I did, you'll notice one's missing. I did try one on a 17k hike. I'm not sure on the results because I ended up very, very tired after that as well. But, you know, a 17k hike will do that over hilly terrain. See how this one goes and we'll check in later. And it's based on body weight as well. So me being over 80 kilos, I'm going to try two tabs. You can see I've tried two tabs already, but they were one at a time and over different days. So far, I don't know whether it was enough or, you know, whether caffeine really affects me in that way. I don't know whether I did take one on a 17 kilometer hike. I don't know whether I felt any different or not afterwards. Let's try it two at once on a good day and see what happens. Um, and also to remove the patches if you experience effects stronger than desired. So if you experience too much energy or you start being able to jump a lot higher than normal, Take the patches off. But also too, on here it's not endorsed or evaluated by the FDA in the USA, the TGA in Australia, or the Medicine Healthcare and Products Regulatory Agency in the UK. So you're playing with life. So maybe they actually just do nothing. Let's find out. Today, let's try to I can get them off because I've cut my nails. So you will I don't know whether that'll come on through there, but I have dented the thing because I've got no nails, so it's whether that affects it or not, I'm not sure. And once again, so you gotta be careful when peeling them off because they are a little bit fragile. Because they're a weird sort of thing, and you can see, yeah, that the corner's up a little bit on that one that I've buggered up. But That is both on, so let's see. 
whether these are actually any good, whether they do give me some energy. I haven't had a coffee, I haven't had a pre train or anything today. So we'll see what comes from it. Okay, let's talk about how we felt after using the Endorphic Surge Fix, blah, blah, blah. Not too bad. I've actually got, where do I put it? One of the patches that I wore. So you can see, I don't know how much you can see there. There's a bit of fibrous stuff on it, probably from my skin that it collected while it was on. Uh, but the stickiness is very much gone. Given that it felt like it did absorb and it did leave like a sticky patch on your skin. One thing I will say about them is that they are pretty water adverse. So I remember the first time I wore one, whether it worked or whether it absorbed fully or whatever else, it came straight off as soon as I hit the shower. I put it on as I went for a hike. So whether it was rubbing and chafing and whatever else and just fell off, but it wasn't the full six hours. Mind you, it was about four hours, but you still have that sort of thing happening. So just something to be aware of in that, put it somewhere where it's not gonna get rubbed or don't wear it in the pool because it'll probably come straight off. Now, how did I feel? It's an interesting thing because how can you tell? Unless you get that real rush from something and you feel, I felt pretty good. I felt pretty good. So on the Sunday that I put those two on, I had already gone for a two hour walk with 30 kilo vest on and then I had to stand around for hours. So I put them on, I traveled, half an hour away, then stood around for about five hours or so, and then traveled half an hour back, and then I hit a bit of an energy crash. And I think then that they'd sort of hit their, you know, six, seven hour limit or whatever it was that they claimed to give you that energy for. And then, yeah, I hit a bit of a crash, felt pretty flat afterwards and tired. So it didn't keep me up, but then the next day, I went completely without them and any sort of pre-train or energy drink or anything like that. Had a coffee and I felt pretty flat all day. So this is the day after that day as well and I'm still waking up a little bit flat, fatigued. I don't know. I don't know whether I could actually recommend this. Is this the same sort of thing, just minus the sugar, but that same you know, crash afterwards as well? Does it hype your adrenals right up? and then give you that bit of a crash. So you feel that fatigue and everything else afterwards as your adrenals start to catch up and you start to feel that the next day. I'm not sure how I can measure that myself without any equipment or whatever else as well. Is it just the same sort of thing in a different package, in a different delivery system? So rather than ingesting it and it gets absorbed, does it just get absorbed here and go straight to the bloodstream? doesn't matter where you put it to, if you put it over fatty tissue or there's a whole host of what ifs about this delivery system. So it's something different, something that's out there. Is it healthier? Is it better? I can't say. I can't really speak to the ingredients on that. And given that you know, they say that the TGA, FDA, all countries food approval and drug approval systems haven't actually rated it. How do you know that it's actually doing anything? Was it just that, you know, I was standing around out with people and whatever else and I felt pretty good? I can't say. I gave it a go. Would I give it a go again? Probably not. You know, energy drinks in themselves aren't my type of thing. It does have a lot of B vitamins in there as well, or so it says, as well as a whole bunch of other, you know, energy boosting ingredients. But is the crash afterwards from that? I mean, I regularly drink a pre-trainer in the morning and then you know don't have a lot of caffeine afterwards is that slower delivery system keeping you hyped up for longer meaning that you're going to crash harder don't know what are your thoughts and given that being a heavier person i need two that's about five bucks i could go get a can of red bull for that price it's going to have a lot more sugar or i could get the sugar free version which you know then there's a whole bunch of other side effects and everything else from the sugar alternatives so it's one of those things where you don't know, are you doing the right thing? Is this a better way of doing things? Or is it a case of trying to fix something that isn't broken? I don't know, I can say I gave it a try. It seems okay. They say that it's all, all good and whatnot, but you never truly know. 
until you know more work or study is done on these things because hey if vitamin patches can be a thing as well giving you that slow sort of release keeping you you know filled up with to the brim with vitamins and everything else as well that's something worth looking into but as it stands still similar sort of feelings after an energy drink after that huge crash afterwards sort of thing the day after and everything so interesting interesting to say the least but what are your guys thoughts have you used anything like this before would you use it do you know something i don't about the delivery system on it leave a comment down below and as always remember to like share comment subscribe on this video i'm rob murphy and i'll see you in the next video